gather up every year for the Kahuna Kapuna to get everybody together and have a great time. And it goes to a good cause. We get out there in the water with everybody and just have a, such a good time. Just always the best. The 22nd year Kahuna Kapuna has been held right here at this beach. I think the most important thing too is for the little ones to see that we're here to have a good time, a good healthy time with all our older friends go, and the younger ones really Stop pick up on that. Paddling. It's noticeable. Job, Paddling out with the six three. guys and just saying good luck, have a good time, and just Keep trading off going. waves. Oh, and seeing everybody that you haven't seen for a while, old and young, families, little kids, new ones, old ones, and all the beautiful boards that are made by the shape of the local shapers in the area. Enjoy life. Have a good time, respect this beautiful ocean that we have along our coast right here. And just pass the word that this is such a healthy place for all of us. And just to keep it beautiful. biggest ones. Uh, it has uh, ages from 40 all the way up to 80. And then they have a team contest which is all ages uh, from say 8 years old to 80 years old. So that's the team division. Uh, I got a daughter in that division so that's what I was here for that one. Everybody's catching waves in their heats. You know it's a, like a family event. There's, there's people that are that are like father and son, they're in it, or daughter and grandma are in the same team division, and it's, it's lovely to see them catching waves together. It's just part of the community, communal camaraderie. The vibe is just, everybody is just smiling, and everybody's just uh, having a good time, and everybody's rooting for each other. It's competition, but in the end, everybody's rooting for one another, which makes a, uh, it even that much better. A lot of times contests can be kind of doggy dog and this one isn't like that. It's just kind of a, a fun camaraderie contest. Wish more were like this. In fact, all the Pacifica contests are like this. Like they have it specifically to make it so it's not so doggy dog or you know, it's more more family and fun. And that's what a lot of the kids are into, more fun instead of you know, such a gritty, competitive 
format. This is more just a go out and have fun, catch waves and get scored. It's great. competition and you know just enjoying good company all right what what anybody can answer these questions what has been your favorite um, moment from this experience so far my favorite moment <laughs> is this moment right here right, right, here, now. right now I get to be on TV <laughs> hi mom hi dad <laughs> all right and um, what do you like most about surfing um, well, I like, I, there's like a good community. I like the community. I just love surfing. It's like the best like way to spend my time and it's just really fun. I love bringing people together. Um, I, I, I couldn't live in a community anywhere without being involved in it in some meaningful way. And this is one of the ways I found uh, I can be, I, I, can, I can give back to a community that I really love and, and is, you know, I, I love Pacifica, you know, I just love living here, you know, and I wanna, I wanna do my part in making it a better place. You know, that's why I've been involved with the environmental family for so long. I've been on the board for a long time and, and I, you know, I do other stuff. I deliver meals on wheels for the senior center and stuff like that. But that's just the way I roll, you know, I just want, I want, I feel like I, I need to give back because I, I, I'm so blessed uh, in, in my life, you know, I want to, I don't want to just take, I want to also give, you know. Why do you think this event is important to the surfing community? Well, it, there's, it brings a cohesion of uh, not just the sport, but also you know, ocean sport and care for the ocean and care for the community and lets everybody see everybody else's face and uh, you know that uh, there's a couple of sponsors out here, a couple of local surf shops, and get to meet who's running surf classes. And it's pretty fun that way, you know. Make some new friends also, it's, it's great. What are you looking forward to seeing today? I'm looking for some good surfing and can brood on my brother-in-law and, um, and my niece is also surfing as well today. Oh wow, that's cool. So what is your favorite part of surfing today? Um, just, uh, yeah, rooting my cousin on and uh, just watching some nice surfing.
right, so how do you think you guys did during this year's Kahuna Kapuna? Well, we made it to the final, so I guess that counts, but uh, it's really just about having fun, this contest. Although, once you get in the water, you, you want to do well. Yeah, okay, what do you have to say for that question? Yeah, it was a great day. I mean, the fact that you're here at the end of the day and rode it all out, that's a success. Uh, certainly inspiring with some of the the elders out there and what they do, Mark Andrini and Joe Baldwin. So, uh, yeah, it makes me want to surf another day. So why is the Kahuna Kapuna competition important to you? Because uh, of the community, it just brings people together that haven't seen each other in a while that share kind of common bond with this spot and surfing in general. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's second that, and then Roy Ernst uh, has a passion for, you know, living your life to the fullest and kind of aging gracefully, so. Is it 22nd we, it, year? 22nd yeah. year, yeah.
in fifth place, Mark Perrell. I'll go get it for him. No show. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Mark Perrell. All right. Fourth place, Stuart Gassner. In third place, Tim Halloran. In second place, Tim Engelman. And in first place, Tom Reddish. Uh, in fourth place, Eric Beckman. Okay. Okay. Third place, Mike Nichols. Fourth place, Mark Harrell. All right. Fourth place, Mark Harrell. All right. I'll get this straight. Third place, Stuart Gasner. Second place, Tim Halloran. And in first place, Tom Radich. Is Eric here? Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, third place, Mike Nichols. Is Mike here? Okay. Second place, Hide Minami. And in first place, Paul Stewart. All right. What what happened, Hide? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Way to go, Paul. All right. And in men's shortboard, 50 to 59, Grandmaster Division. That is, uh, the sixth place is Miguel Ongpin. In fifth place, Ian Dickey. In fourth place, Alex Spooner. In third place, Tom House. In second place, Keen Hurley. And in first place, Mark Shotwell. Right? Yeah. All right, so we got four. Uh, Four contestants in this division. And in fourth place, April Schneider. In third place, Antoinette. In second place, Leah Conroy. And in first place, Carrie Kempfeldman. And in junior longboard, I'm um, junior shortboard, 40 to 49 women, we have third place, Van Lee. Second place, Jasper Louise Simon. And in first place, Anya Arthur. Thank you. Yeah. Grandmaster Longboard 50 to 5 to 59. I'd like to ask Patrick Ryan, Mark Shotwell, Steve Baker, Mike Boley, Kevin Mursky, and Sean Scallon to come up. Go, boys! All right, boys. <laughs> All right, we had a full, full division. It's one of the most popular divisions. Very competitive. 
and in sixth place, Patrick Ryan. Patrick Ryan. Sixth place. Patrick here? Yeah, he's got it. All right. Fifth place, Kevin Mursky. Kevin Mursky. In fourth place, Mark Shotwell. All right. Third place, Mike Bowley. Mike Bowley. In second place, see Steve Baker. Yes, yeah. yeah, in first place, Sean Scallon. Yeah. All right, let's do men's master longboard. I'd like to ask uh, Lawton Smith, Gene Lindsay, Jeff Bjork, Greg Gahagen, and Tuan Shalom Tirana. All right, here we go. So, uh, in fifth place, Men's Master Longboard, 50 to 54. Greg Gahagan. <laughs> In fourth place, Jeff Bjork. And in third place, Lawton Smith. In second place, Gene Lindsay. And in first place, do it. All right, so in sixth place, we have Jeff Bjork. And in fifth place, Greg Gahagan. In fourth place, Tristan Warren. In third place, Ray Soto. And in second place, Sean Keane. And in first place, two in. <laughs> so, uh, Greg left a little bit earlier ago, but he asked me to have us all remember why we're here, or at least why I'm here. You can't hear me. Okay. Yeah, so the conference left, but he wanted me to kind of circle back to why a lot of us are here. Definitely me. If it hadn't been for Izzy, I wouldn't be here with this family, this great tribe that we share. So, could we please just take a minute and have a moment of silence for Izzy? I'm going to take my hat off. And let's just think a little bit about it's just a really great, great person. Um, and we owe a lot to him. Thank you so much. Peter Schultz. In fifth place, Ron Escoto. In fourth place, Robert Bertram. In third place, Peter Griffith. In second place, Mark Andrini. And in first place, Joel Baldwin. So Nick, Nick's the guy who stepped into Izzy's spot. Uh, well, over the last couple of years. Thank you. See, he even catches like uh, runaway people. What a guy! All right, and uh, and so uh, I I couldn't think of anybody more appropriate. Not just because 
he filled Izzy's role, which is a really important role in the in the contest. But he's become a really good friend of mine, and and a person who uh, I respect, who I think is kind, reasonable, and all that good stuff. So here you go. Thank you. All right, congratulations. What I'd like to do is uh, is offer this Aloha Award to Karen Gorman, all right, who stepped forward as a person who had never been involved with the contest, but I asked her to uh, coordinate volunteers this year, and she was a big help. So this award goes to Karen, who I don't think is here right now. She left. Okay. And then the last special award is Kahuna Kapuna Award. Roughly translated in Hawaiian, it means Big Chief Wise Elder. And this always goes to the surfer with the most experience who uh, surfed in the contest. And, that, and this year, it's Greg Cochran. So I'll make sure he gets this trophy or somebody knows. I just want to make sure I didn't miss anybody. All right. Thank you. Thank you. My pleasure. Uh, this is uh, this is something I look forward to every year, and uh, it's a really important fundraiser for Pacifica's environmental family.